Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I'm just hoping to breeze through this one because this is video like number seven or number eight. So it's been a long day. But today I'm going to give you my top 10 summer niche fragrances for 2022. Let's just kick it off with number one. That's going to be Creed's Green Irish Tweed. This is classical, vintage, but it's a modern. It's a modern day classic fragrance. This just is so green. It's airy. So you're going to get ambergris. You're going to get iris, violet. The violet is what adds that airiness to it. But the, the iris itself does give it a little bit of a powdery undertone. There's musky ambergris and bright zesty lemon verbena. Oh my god. The two main players I would say would be the lemon verbena but also the violet. Those two notes kind of give it that classical feel but along with the iris. This is a very versatile fragrance. You could wear it casually but you could also wear it to a semi-formal event. It's a Swiss army knife as we call it. Super versatile, very signature scent worthy. Longevity of this gem, this beauty of a fragrance is going to be about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number two, unfortunately I don't have a bottle but I do have a travel spray and I really wanted to add this one to the video because it's such an underrated scent. It's understated is what it is because it's not a banger. This stuff is more of a banger, especially in the high heat, than this fragrance here. But that's going to be Creed's Cedre Blanc. This has galbanum to add that green herbal touch, or that green nuance, I should say. You're going to get bay leaf, cardamom to add that warm spice nuance. You're going to get some citruses, some lilies, some cedar, and vetiver. So it's a very woody fragrance in the dry down, but you're going to also get a little bit of green herbal touches as well. This is more of a work scent in my opinion. This does not smell as rich as this. This just smells much more better formulated than, the, than this line. This line just doesn't get a lot of mention. The best from the line in my opinion is going to be Asian green tea. But this is a close second. Fantastic fragrance that unfortunately is discontinued. However, you could still get these online relatively easily for about 200 bucks. Longevity is going to be about seven hours. Fragrance number three is probably my favorite in this list. I recently did a video that's not going to be out until after, but oh my god, is this stuff so good. Aqua di Parma Chinotto Liguria. Now, I know I mispronounced that, but this stuff is just, oh my god, there's something in this that's just, it's so beautiful. Like, the, the citrus itself, I believe it's bergamot, but way more Chinotto than anything. That Chinotto is so unique and different. I, oh, that's what really grabbed me. But it, also, it was the jasmine that that got me as well. So there's like jasmine geranium. Like the white florals itself don't, please don't be turned off by that. But the chinoto and the jasmine itself, what a combination. There's also musk, rosemary, and patchouli, but I also believe that there's a little bit of woods to it as well. Just a bright, fresh, citrusy scent with clean white florals a little bit of rosemary with a musky dry down. Beautiful fragrance that leans a little bit more femme, but I'm super comfortable enough to wear this. I wish I got an official bottle. This is just like a 30 ml for that I got for a fantastic price. I think I got it for like 35 to 40 bucks. Like this goes for about, I think it was like $70 Canadian for like 100 ml. Like, you can't go wrong with this. This is actually quite versatile. You could wear it to like casually, to work, to a semi-formal event, longevity for something that's an EDT, or I think it's an EDC, I'm not sure. Regardless, it does not perform like an EDT. I get like eight to nine hours off this gem. Fragrance number four is gonna be Atelier Cologne's Mandarin Glacial. So you're gonna get Mandarin, of course, Bergamot, Ginger, Vetiver, and Amber. So what it is, it's just pretty much an ambery, lots of ginger, and loads of beautiful bright mandarin. Very energizing. It's it's casual, it's perfect with a white t-shirt and jeans to a nice polo with, with uh, khaki shorts and loafers. Fantastic. Longevity off this is gonna be about six to seven hours. Fragrance number five is from a brand that I plug a lot. It's a brand that I love, but it had to make this, this list. Bond number nine is Eau de New York. This has pedigree, loads of neroli three different citruses or something like that, maybe four. Uh, it's got white florals, jasmine, lily, gardenia, musk. It is so incredibly bright, 
creamy, citrusy, florals. It leans more on the, on the, unit, on the lady's side, but I'm comfortable enough to wear it. This will do so well in the high heat. It's a great casual scent, but it's also a great office fragrance. Longevity off this is gonna be about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number six is a citrus bomb. Arancia di Capri from Acqua di Parma. This has something like five or different citruses. So lemon, mandarin, bergamot, so on. It's got cardamom, musk, but also a really nice sweet caramel. Caramel is not like, you know, a very common note, but in this it adds a little bit of sweetness to it. It has a little bit of a fun, flirty touch to it. There's no florals from what I remember, but it's just an overly citrusy scent. It's in some ways it's like this, but without the neroli, without the jasmine, the gardenia, the lily, all that stuff, right? This is just very bright. It's in your face, but it adds that pep to your step. It's a great casual scent, but it's also a great office fragrance. It is unisex, but I do think that both genders can easily wear this. This is about six hours. Fragrance number seven is gonna be bond number nine's Wall Street. Now this has cucumber, citrus. It's got different, uh, different florals, of course, because it's a bond scent but also seaweed. Now there is gonna be that green salty seaweed, that cucumber, the cucumber is fresh, it's juicy, but there's lavender, vetiver, musk, but also resins. This stuff is fantastic. I love the cucumber and the seaweed combination. It's just so different, so unusual. It's a great office fragrance. Does it smell like Wall Street? Does it smell like money? Not so much. But it's a great scent if you work in Wall Street. It's a great scent if you work in, in, in corporate, all right? It's very inoffensive, it's mass appealing, it's easy to wear, it is unisex, but I do think it dives a little bit more towards the men this time for a unisex fragrance and from Bond. Longevity of this is gonna be about eight hours. Fragrance number eight is gonna be Aqui de Parma Fico de Amalfi. Now this has fig tree, fig nectar. It's got citron, so it's very citrusy, very green. Like that fig is juicy, it's creamy in some ways. Jasmine and cedar, so it's fig, so it's green, fig, citrus, a little floral with woods towards the base. One of the best fig fragrances that you can get. And for a niche fragrance, like for a fragrance itself, I should say, not a niche fragrance, the fig is so authentic, so incredibly real. You could wear it to work, you could wear it like this. I think that it's like, that it's classy enough and elegant enough for a daytime semi-formal event to like a casual night out. It's very, very versatile. Like especially like from this line itself, I would say that this is probably like the classiest of the Blue Mediterranean line. Longevity is gonna be about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number nine is gonna be Creed's Millicene Imperial. Now this is the original, not the reformulated. The reformulated is all gold plus pressed but this has sea notes sea water sea salt fruity notes citruses musk iris and wood so this just reminds me of the pacific northwest i've stated this so many times that whenever i mention this it just reminds me of vancouver i am planning to do a video i've been meaning to do it for the last couple years uh just haven't got around to it just i've been really lazy but stay tuned for the video of Stanley Park Seawall and this fragrance here. This is just so incredibly fresh. It just reminds me of the ocean. Very much like the Pacific Northwest. Longevity off this, the, the original, was is great. It's like seven to nine hours. And fragrance number 10 is gonna be bond number nine's Shelter Island. So this has musk, oud, sandalwood. The oud itself is not overly oody, but it is there. There's lily, lemon, and seaweed. Now what this is, it's pretty much green seaweed with like some salty nuance. Like the, the seaweed in this is actually quite nice. So in the first spray, what you just saw is actually first spray from this bottle because I ended up recently getting this bottle for like $127 Canadian. So that's what, 105 USD. But it's just seaweed, green, musky, sea salty, and woody. The oud itself is not overly oudy at all, and I love it. I don't love oud, but in this, it's done beautifully. This is a great work scent. It's great casually. It's a great weekend fragrance. So let's say that you work in an office. This is your office fragrance. This is your weekend fragrance. Guys, that is it. Oh my lord. Seven or eight videos is what I filmed today. 
I am done. So you may have seen my energy just, you know, whatever, and my anxiety just from low to high to low to high. I am done. And that battery's been flashing for the last 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna end it here. If you like this very video, please leave me one of these. If you wanna see other videos like this, like other top five, top 10 niche summer videos, they might be a starting lineup, check out this side here. Any reviews that I've done on these, they will all be down in the description box below. I thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.